What's up, gentlemen? Christopher Lopez here with Jersey Beast TV, your source for men's muscle building, strength training, and fat loss information. So, in this video, we're going to be covering a, a really great kettlebell conditioning workout, one of my favorites. It's not super complicated uh, because, as you know, the more complicated you make your workouts, the harder they are going to be to stick with them day in and day out. So, um, if you haven't seen any of my other conditioning based workouts or any of my other conditioning based videos, the main key for me when it comes to conditioning and the difference between conditioning and cardio is that conditioning, in my eyes, improves performance and improves your strength and maintains your strength here in the gym. Uh, it improves your ability to maintain strength when you're dieting, uh, when you're cutting calories and you're looking to lean out. So again, my thought process is cardio is machine based walking on the treadmill, doing the elliptical for 30 minutes, um, maybe doing the bike, maybe doing the rower, uh, the fan bike, right? Um, cardio is weight-based, is body weight-based, is, is, is strength training based. It's not solely based on machines. So one of my favorite kettlebell conditioning workouts is this. I'll set a timer, 30 minutes, right? Not complicated. You can use your watch, you can use the clock in the gym. This is a great workout you can do at home if you have these two pieces of equipment. Pretty much do it anywhere, as long as you have a timer or a way to track time. Uh, a jump rope, which is one of my favorite pieces, if not the favorite piece uh, in my conditioning arsenal, and your kettlebell. All right, jump ropes cost like 10 bucks on Amazon. Kettlebells, uh, they're kind of expensive, but I don't think they're as expensive as they used to be. So if you can grab a kettlebell, do so. If you can grab a jump rope, do so. But again, set the timer for 30 minutes or watch the clock for 30 minutes. And what you're gonna do, very simple, very basic, okay? Very, very, very effective. Is for 30 minutes, you're gonna alternate between 100 reps on jump rope, right? As fast as you can. Just get it done. And 10 kettlebell swings, all right? So the swing, you guys have probably seen this done numerous times, whether or not you do it correctly, <laughs> that's a different story, but you're gonna do 10 kettlebell swings. So hips back, chest up, driving the kettlebell forward. Snapping your hips. Kettlebell goes back down to the floor, and you do that for 30 minutes. Now. My heart rate is up a little bit. You take as much time to recover as necessary, okay? But you don't want to take a minute or two minutes in between, in between rounds. So do your jump rope for, for 100, 10 kettlebell swings. If you get really good at it, you can use your jump rope as your break. So instead of sprinting through the jump rope, go at a nice easy pace, right? Jump in the rope, right? Nice and smooth. It's gonna help bring your heart rate down a little bit. And then you go back to snapping your hips on that kettlebell and that will elevate the heart rate again. So, try that out. It doesn't have to be 30 minutes. If you're, just, if you're a guy just starting to get back into the gym and anything really raises your heart rate, maybe 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes, all right? It doesn't have to be crazy, complicated. It's just the intensity has to be there and you have to be willing to push yourself a little bit. All right, guys? That's one of my favorite kettlebell conditioning workouts. Um, again, not complicated, but super effective. All right, if this video was useful to you, please subscribe to the channel. Make sure you, after you click that red button, that you click the bell icon as well. That will allow you to know when I'm posting new videos. You'll get notified. Uh, comment down below if you feel like this was a good video. Maybe you got some questions for me. Uh, make sure you share the video if you feel like somebody will get some use out of it. And as always, on the right side of the screen, get your free gift. My way of saying thank you for watching my stuff, subscribing to my channel, um, and just hanging out for the past few minutes. I'm going to finish this workout, and I'll see you guys in the next video.